All new at 10 San Juan police, uh, their chief taking a strong stance against the enforcement of immigration laws. CBS 4's Michelle Vargas sat down with him and has more on why he says residents shouldn't fear his department. We are not going out there as San Juan police officers and stopping people and deporting people. That's not our job and we have not, we're not doing it and we're not going to do it. San Juan Police Chief Juan Gonzalez wants to make it clear to residents that his department will not enforce immigration laws. If there's any mandate, they will going to abide by that mandate when it comes. But our, our main focus right now is to protect our communities and also protect our undocumented victims of, crime, of violent crime. Governor Greg Abbott officially cut off state funding for sanctuary cities where local law enforcement or elected officials do not enforce immigration laws. This year, San Juan PD received approximately $160,000 from state grants. Although Gonzalez says the money is fundamental for the department, since San Juan is not a sanctuary city, he is not concerned about Abbott's threats. It's important for us to continue receiving those those funds and but also we want to make sure that we enforce the law and we stay within our parameters of our state jurisdiction and enforcing local crime law not federal immigration law at the city commission meeting Tuesday evening, Mayor San Juanita Sanchez addressed some of the concerns from residents that were brought to her attention. I think we don't have clear answers as to what the executive orders exactly are going to impact our local law enforcement. We've got folks that are telling us um, we're scared, we're afraid. Uh, we don't want to report um, anything for the fear of someone coming knocking at our doors. And so one of the one of the things I wanted to settle with the chief being present last night was let them know we're only, our officers are doing their day to day patrolling our community. Despite the strict immigration regulations that have been implemented since President Donald Trump took office, Sanchez encourages San Juan residents to continue doing business as usual. No one's going to stop them and ask them for their identity just because. That's not going to happen, not from our uh, law enforcement. In San Juan, Michelle Vargas, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Sanchez and other members of the community are going to meet at the Shrine at 6.30 a.m. on Saturday morning to caravan to the border wall in San Juan for a silent prayer. They are inviting anyone in the valley who's interested to join them.